<laughs> okay. First of all, hey, Ludi, it's good to see you again. Uh, we met back in uh, Power Rangers. Day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Almost almost four years to the date it, it released. Really? In the past four years, yeah. Four years uh, a week ago, I think. That's cool. It's good to see you again, Jimmy. Yeah, it's good to see you. And it cr- yeah, it's been so long. It almost feels like we almost feel like dinosaurs. <laughs> well, especially the past year. It feels like that was a decade, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just been one very long year. I'm going to write that out of my mind as soon as we, uh, we're we done with this. Amen, man. Well, let, I mean, talk about... I'm going to start with you, and I'll move on to Max. Uh, you know, you were part of Power Rangers, a very popular franchise, and now you're, you've are you kind of graduated into a little more gory, hugely popular franchise. How did you get involved with this? Uh, you, you know, Jimmy, I think it's, uh, I, as I, as I grow, it's like, um, I think this applies to everybody. We keep trying to childproof ourselves, you know, but the kids still gets in and I finally just gave, gave in. It's very important. I think now to recognize that in a child and, uh, to pay homage to him, um, especially something that was so important to him. Like, uh, you know, I spent my childhood walking pa- or watching Power Rangers and playing Mortal Kombat revered the first movie it was awesome so um it's like a vindication for me to my inner child and an homage to the childhood and to everyone else out there telling them that you know it meant something all that time wasn't wasted that's cool that's cool now max for you uh you come from a background of a stunt work how how did uh, clearly that must have been a huge help for you for you and finding the right tone and getting into this character um it was it i mean it helped having that background you know um i think at one point in my life i i, I made the decision to uh, become a professional actor and that was when um i 100 percent committed to the art and i'm very grateful though to have um you know a background in action and also a background behind the camera so understanding what it takes to put it all together and um and that, that definitely helped, yes. Now, what I liked about and I, I really had a lot of fun with this movie. I liked the fact that it, it kind of balls to the wall. There was It's gory. You have a lot of real cool effects here. What was it like for you two kind of getting together and finding the chemistry? Because you two are honestly great together. I'll, I'll start with you, Max. Uh, thank you, first of all. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Ludi and I have known each other for uh, almost 10 years. And uh, we met on a set in China where I was doubling back then for another actor. And, and uh, I think it was one of Ludi's first films. Um, it was back then already great to work with him. And uh, when I heard that I got the part and then also that Ludi would be in it and he would play my cousin. I mean, it was like, um, it felt like it was faith. It was meant to be. Um, so it was, it was really, I mean, Ludi made it so much easier for me to, um, get into character and also to relate um, to uh, Liu Kang and, and and really build up that connection with the two characters. Ludi, would you have the same you have the same t- take on that? Absolutely. Don't say anything Don't else, Ludi. <laughs> Don't lie. Max, what are you talking about, <laughs> dude? We fought on set every day. No, Max and I, we go. We're like um, decade old bros now. We go way back. We uh, the first time I met him, we already went through hell. We were on this project in China, where we had to fight in a basement where they were doing renovations. We could hardly breathe. There's dust everywhere, and they wanted to burn fire barrels, and we had to yes. do action for like 20 hours a day. And then the next day, out of the out of the frying pan and into the fire, right? Or I guess into the into the frozen um, into freezing hell. Because the next day we had to, I had to get hogtied on this um, pole in a warehouse where it was negative 19 degrees in Beijing. And Max was doing stunts with other character who was actually playing my best friend. Um, so yeah, we go way back then. And I already saw Max's skills and his potential in becoming such a wonderful actor and storyteller. So um, it was easy to catch up, easy to communicate with. There's no egos anywhere. Anyone who comes from a background in martial arts and action, I think they just have that um, that peace and humble core inside of them. Well, guys, it's absolute pleasure. Ludi, great to see you again. Congratulations. This is a fun flick.
Rock on, Jimmy. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you. Thanks, guys.